Okay, uh, here I am. Uh, there's no sidebar. Uh, request recording, talk, talking. All right, but I don't see uh, participants. Oh yeah, here we go, I got it. But I don't have my video. Uh, start video, okay, wait a minute, hang on. Here we go, okay. So I'm gonna admit you and Linda. Uh, and John Walter, admit, Elaine, any admit. Okay, now can you hear me over the, what? Okay, I have to, um... okay, we'll see you, bye. Okay, <laughs> hi everybody. Hello. We had some technical glitches to get through. So I think we're there now though. Good. Must be all the ice and freezing weather out here in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're out west, aren't you? We are. In the, can you guys the hear me? Of the Midwest. You having fun? Yeah, it's been so blasted cold, but it sounds like it's going to be the same at home when we get home. So Who cares 17, if it's cold? 17 degrees yesterday morning with the snow. It was really lovely. Who cares if it's cold? You've got grandkids. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no complaining, right? Right, exactly. No complaining. Hi, John. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Rita, so, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So Margie, um, who else are we missing? Margie and um, Michael. Right. And I think that's the, I think that's the full compliment then. Because we're down to seven members now. Right. And uh, Michael sent an email earlier. Okay. Um, Which, in, which indicated I thought he was going to be here. Okay. Um, so I don't seem to be coming up on the screen. You seem to be hogging the screen, Rita. <laughs> That's me. Um, go if you go to view, just... uh, if you go to view in the upper right hand corner, you should be able to get everybody. Well, I've got the gallery view, but yeah. so am I coming up on your screen when I'm talking? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. All right, fine. I can see you. Yeah. We can all see you. All right. It's just very slow. I think. Oh, well, here's right Michael. Back. Here's Michael. Great. Hey, Michael. Can you hear us, Michael? I can. Okay, good. Great. I think we're all set. Good. So should we call the meeting to order? Yes. Who's going to take notes if Margie's not here? <laughs> I did it the last time. I'm going to, I'm going to remind everybody I'm not doing it this time. <laughs> uh, any volunteers? I don't have pencil and paper with me right here. Oh. I don't either. I do. I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. <laughs> I Michael, guess I, I did see your your comments about the minutes. You're absolutely right. There are a bunch of changes I had on on the page here, but didn't get in the ones I sent out. Okay. So, uh, has everybody seen the minutes? I have to be honest. I did not read through them, but I would rely upon you guys to. Well, um, that, that's changes. probably a bad mistake. And let me tell you what my changes were before before everybody starts. I wasn't at the meeting. 
Huh? Okay. Well, that was one of the questions I had. I couldn't remember. I, I, I didn't know I was going to take the minutes, so I didn't write down who was there and who wasn't. Okay. So you were not there, right? No, okay. I apologize. I totally spaced it out. And I don't think, Michael, you weren't there either, were you? I totally spaced it out too. <laughs> so it's just That's why I'm taking minutes. <laughs> so, um, Penance. <laughs> so Michael wasn't there either. Chris, right. was, it, was, um, it was Chris, Alan, Rita, and myself. Yeah. So we had a quorum. So Chris was there. Yes, he was. Okay. It's his last meeting. You guys missed a great party. <laughs> <laughs> and so I also had, um, so the people I have with their absence were Margie, um, Michael, and Chris. No, Margie, and Michael, Elaine, and Jane. Oh, oh, Elaine. And James, Chris was there. Chris was there, okay. Right, okay, that, I got that. So Margie, Michael, Chris was there. James Sue. And um, Michael was not. Michael, Margie. Elaine. And Elaine, yep, oh, wow. I got, okay, I got that right. And um, James. It, James Sue. So the other error in, in, in there was that James Aaron got left in by, uh, this was from another Oh, right. Oh, yeah. So, he's not, he's, he's no he's longer. Not, he's not there anymore. Yeah. Right. Okay. And he's, the, the other, <laughs> he's not right. in the meeting anymore. <laughs> Excuse me? I said he's here, but he's not in the meeting anymore. Right, right, right. Okay. So those are the changes to the tops of the minutes. The other change I had was um, I added a zero item, which was uh, introducing John, which we can do now. Hi, John. Peace. So John is our newest member representing the Historic the Historical Commission. Commission. Oh, right. cool. Nice. OK. Um, so those are the only changes I had to the minutes. Anybody have any other comments? Um, you can just change uh, me. You have me representing the Historical Commission, and I'm not. I'm on the uh, Recreation Committee. I had you as a select board rep. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Not I'm, anymore. Not anymore. So you're the historical commission. I'm historical. And Rita is the select board. Well, right. no, your recreation commission. Um, Alan is the select board designee. I'm housing. Oh. So, I see. Um, can I ask a question? Right. So I'm, I'm the. the, I'm the um, I know we're not like, done, we're not done with second. the minutes. So after the minutes, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so what else is wrong here? Oh, I'm still the finance representative. No, there's no finance. No, I'm, no, I'm anymore. saying I'm still on the finance but, on here. But we didn't do anything about that yet. Remember? Right. We didn't. That's, that's what I wanted to say. We didn't actually formalize who's who. We were going to do that at this meeting. Yeah. And. Right. And the select board did do the designation, though, is no. my recollection. No, no, they no. You know oh, that, I, I do know that because in my role as admin secretary, I have to yeah. keep track of all the appointments, and okay. we haven't we haven't done we haven't done it yet. Uh, we sort of knew what we wanted to do, but I think right. we need them need needed to wait for this meeting, right? So that we can okay. put the people's names because right. this is John because John's, John's new first meeting, know. right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. should we dispense with the minutes and then move to that? Yeah, let's dispense with the minutes. So I'll, I'll move to approve the minutes of September 21st, 2020. Second. All those in favor? Farrell, aye. Take care, aye. Scott, aye. aye. Paleo, abstain. Oh yeah, I abstain too, sorry. I wasn't there. Um, Alan Hansen, aye. Okay. 
So I'm pretty I familiar I with. I'm sorry, I'm making some notes here on my it's minutes okay. to change. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty familiar with the designation. So do you want me to go through that, Alan? With that um, help? Yeah, I, I think I got them all. I think. Okay. So just for everybody's information, um, what we did at annual town meeting is that we um, revised the community preservation committee bylaw. So it's no longer a nine member committee, but rather a seven member committee. And um, so we took off, uh, we kind of combined things a little bit and took off um, uh, the finance committee as having a seat on the community preservation committee. So the, um, the, the slots are, uh, the select board has a slot and does a designation for um, parks and um, open space. Um, and, uh, is that what it's called, Linda? Or? No. No, um, it's uh, select board slash board of park commissioners. There still is an open right. space rec committee. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's open space and rec committee. Yeah. So it's parks as a select board. Yeah. And um, I was going to make a recommendation that um, to the select board that Alan be appointed. Maybe we could get a slate tonight and then vote on it. Yeah. And then recommend to the select board. So that um, would be the first slot that I would recommend. And um, Linda would stay in the position as um, representing the Conservation Commission. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Um, and Elaine would be, is now on the Recreation Committee um, and <clears throat> would be the Recreation Committee slash Open Space representative. Um, John has been designated, John Walter has been designated as the historic, historical commission um, representative. And Michael is representing the planning board. planning board. And then Margie, I believe is at the, is, there's an at-large position. And That's just, she is. okay. Yeah. I don't have all of my, um, I don't have all of my folders here with me. Um, and your so. position is Rita? And my position is, oh, housing. Okay. So we have a slot which is statutory for housing authority. And right. since we don't have a housing authority but I have housing background, um, mm -hmm. that's what. So in, in terms of the actual appointments <clears throat> to ask the select board for it, my sense is it's, Alan's position is select board park. Um, Margie's is at large. And then Rita, you is housing authority because the other positions, the respective committee is appointing, correct? Uh, yeah, and I think there was confirmation by the select board is the way we changed the bylaw. Is oh, that okay. I, yeah. I actually um, have the wording. It says, <laughs> Great. Um, members, no, Linda. members appointed by the select board um, will serve a one-year term, which is, that is a change because before yeah. our terms were for three years. So we now have one-year terms in there and we are appointed by the select board. So, yes. um, and you wrote that, Michael. I know, <laughs> but that was like a year ago. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but no, it made sense. It was sort it of does. consolidating everything. And oh, I still agree with it. Yes, good. <laughs> I just have to remember it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's all going back through the select board. So that's why I think if yeah. we give that full slate to the select board, then we have that for their hopefully next meeting, Linda, we can get that on the agenda. Yeah. Um, did Margie say anything? I believe, I heard, I'm trying to recall that she, I believe she wanted to stay on, but maybe we should confirm that. Let's leave her on and then um, Alan, you or I should get in touch with her and get a confirmation. Because if she's not, I mean, she hasn't come to the last few meetings. Yeah. And yeah. I know she's doing some, uh, you know, homeschooling stuff. So it might just, might be that it was too much for her. I don't know. Um, so, but we'll get a confirmation of that. Yeah. Should we, should we wait till we're appointed before we anoint an Alan as co-chairs again? Um, well, we probably ought to, <laughs> just to make it legal. Huh? Huh? 
Yeah. Well, we're still appointed, right? I mean, um, yeah, but within the committee, like once you're a committee, doesn't oh, the committee I see what you mean. Like, like um, all, all um, official in our places. Yeah, I think we should do that maybe at the next meeting. Yeah, right? that's what I was and suggesting. Just yeah. Reorganize. Yeah. 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 Because I, I'm not feeling like I need to co chair. So, um, love for somebody else to step up. Or, you know, if we're going to do co chairs that just have one chair, whatever, we could talk about that at the next meeting. Yeah. Same here. Okay. Got it. Um, The um, the agenda is kind of sparse. I mean, they, we kind of talked about the currently funded but incomplete projects the last time. Mm -hmm. um, we've since seen, seen some of the results of the cemetery work, which I think I thought was pretty impressive. Yes. Um, yeah. There was a picture in the newsletter, the town newsletter, um, which I thought was the wrong picture, but it was Janice's choice. Um, I'm not sure that there's anything more to talk about there. I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't heard back from Mark Rivers. Um, let's see. Uh, and the building committee. Yeah, the building committee. I didn't contact, did you? No, but I think the select board is going to um, be meeting with them. Be Becky's gonna make the initial outreach because the building committee hasn't met, I think, since uh, the beginning of this calendar year. And um, there's some outstanding issues regarding, you know, just town right. buildings in general. Um, and I think we can also ask about the old town hall. Yeah, I think so. I, as far as I know, they haven't met for quite a while. Is it? I, right. I think you just said that. Right. right. Um, so but just for John's for John's information, John, we have um, you know we've made a number of um, CPA awards over the last few years, um, and you know what's happened is some of the projects get done right away, and some are really languishing, and um, so nothing has happened. And what we've attempted to do is to get a response from those groups that have awards and we have not gotten um, really any, any sort of progress. And I think at, at some point we need to um, make a decision about whether or not um, we want to go through uh, a process of um, taking the money back, um, which I believe would have to go back through town meeting and, you know, but we want to give everybody the opportunity. And I think we have, in some cases, it's been years um, where we made, we made an award and nothing's happened. And so that money has to be set aside when town meeting votes for it. Um, so it's not, we're not short of money, but it just, it, it just is, I, I think, you know, poor management to you kind of North Cove project by any chance? Say that again. Is it the? Can you hear me okay, everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah, no. Could you turn? No. Could you turn your mic up a little bit? I really don't know how to do that. Okay. Talk uh, louder. Hey, just start screaming, John. Yes. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here you go. Um, just asking if if that would be this North Cove project. Yes. 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 That's so the there group. were. I believe there are just two, John, now that are um, where we haven't seen any progress, the North Cove and then the Old Town Hall. For a while, nothing was happening with the cemetery, but um, Janice Stone really got on the case and they're making a lot of progress there. And they might be coming back to us this year for some more right, money. I was talking to Walter yesterday and I suggested that maybe they ought to think about it. And I think Janice is thinking about it. Yeah. So, um, so it's the old town hall and the, the North Cove and the North Cove, the person who had, um, was sort of uh, in charge at the lake is either no longer living there. Right. So there's not re you know, been any, there's no kind of leadership around it. It wasn't a lot of money, but it's just still, 
we sort of hate having it on the books. And the old town hall um, is up to the building committee and the building committee has not been active at all this year. Does that answer your question, John? Sorry? Does that answer your question? Uh, yeah. And okay. I was curious who put forward the town hall project and someone, um, Rita, you mentioned the building committee. So. Yes. Yes. Right. right. Are there okay. Other questions about that? You know, perhaps what we should do is um, just do one more. I, I know the select board is going to be doing some outreach to the building committee, but um, Alan, I'm happy to send a, um, or if the committee wants, I can send an email to them just saying we'd like to know what the status is and see if we get any response. I know we've done that before, but let's right. do it formally again. So I'll send I'll send something out on behalf asked, of the. I asked Nancy that question a while a little while ago, not too long ago. And yeah, you know the problem is is that one person talks to one person, and you know we really need the whole committee to understand that the community preservation committee wants to know, and this is not one person on the building committee, but it's rather the whole. Committee yeah. made the application, the whole committee should be right. responding. But, as my understanding from Nancy, yes. that the place is pretty much in a shambles. That the old town hall is? No, the committee. Oh, the committee. Anyway, I didn't say yep. that. Yep, okay. <laughs> Actually, I did. I think that's why the select board is interested in. Um, yeah, I think so. I, th I think anyway. we should probably make a formal um, written request to them and tell them when our next meeting is and that we need a response by then or that their funding is in jeopardy. Okay, so do we want a, a motion to that effect? Because I would probably... make that motion. Can we say their funding is in jeopardy? Well, I think that we would take steps to, um, uh, and, and one of the things we need to, I don't know that I'd say in jeopardy, but rather, you know, that, that we need to, um, we are going to explore. Re 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 reconsider. Yeah. And, okay. and Linda, I think that that involves a town meeting vote. Right. So, yes. Right. Um, yeah. Or that we might even say that we would recommend mm -hmm. that the funding not be provided right. unless we, we hear something and, and we can recommend that to town meeting. Right. 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 So but I, it needs the to money be has been approved. recommended, right? It's a matter of taking it back. Yeah, and, and it, it, I don't know what the process is, and I've been trying to find that out from the community, from the Trade Association, the Community Preservation um, Coalition, because it's fairly unusual for CPA money to be awarded and then not to be expended. So we have to, we have to understand what the process is. So we'll be careful about, in, in the wording, to say we're going to, um, you know, research uh, how the money might be put back into the um, into the historic. We don't want to do that. We gave them the money. We'd like for them to spend it, but. Can I ask you just a technical question? I mean, although I vote to approve these things every year at town meeting, and once we do that, if it's a town project, is it just going into, is there an actual account? Yes. Yes, that, there is. Say yeah. the building is actual right off of? If you um, reserved, you know those expense um, reports that you, Becky used to send around from Gail Weiss. Mm -hmm. there, there's an actual um, line in in the expense report for each of the projects that shows the allocation, what's been spent, and the remaining balance. And so, although we don't know the process, essentially, if we if we decided to do it and we ended up doing it, we would zero out those those lines. And right. tra and it would transfer be put, put back into the it, it, it was came out of the historic line so it would be put back into that so one of the things that we didn't do from the outset that um, we have talked about um, going forward and making awards is to do um, what most communities 
call a grant agreement or a, you know some sort of a letter agreement that specifies you know a time of performance period what the money is being used for it formalizes the you know the agreement between the community preservation committee and the awardee and the reason why we didn't get on it earlier on was in part because all of our wards were kind of intra-governmental pretty much. Um, and so there wasn't, yeah, you know, it's kind, of, yeah. it's kind of funny for, you know, to, to be signing an agreement when it's, you know, within town government. But I think this is a, a, a illustration of why some sort of letter agreement or grant agreement, whatever we want to call it. So I, I had drafted something um, quite a while ago, but, you know, using the temp, you know, templates from other communities. And I had both a grant agreement and a letter agreement. And um, it, Donna McNichol was supposed to review and I just haven't followed, you know, I haven't heard anything back and it, I need to follow up with Becky as to did Donna review those and bring them back to the committee so that when we do <clears throat> any future awards, you know, we would have a performance period, we'd have an agreed upon amount of money, um, any performance standards that we um, wanted to include. And it just, um, it's just a better way of doing business, you know, mm -hmm. kind of set, sets out, you know, what's going to be done for how much money, rather than this just very loosey goosey way we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's oh, a I, um, sure, well, sure, John, brought in. Okay, I checked their last minutes or from February um, on the website, anyway, from the building committee. And um, uh, they were busy with, with with the building, the old town hall, and um, you know, with town halls, with old buildings, uh, it's, it's always a can of worms. You know, you um, you pull this piece of wood off, and then there's all this other work to do, and so forth. But um, <clears throat> I'm not I'm not familiar with the actual grant or what they requested, but from their minutes, it sounded like a lot of work, and. Um, the minutes were from February, uh, and that was right before COVID. So we're also talking about COVID and how do you get this work done um, in the crawl space? I mean, we're, we're talking about attics and crawl space and demolishing the kitchen and things like that. So COVID might have a lot to do with it. And it sounds like, yeah, it makes sense in the future to have sort of timelines where you expect results, though um, that can sound kind of punitive. And in this, in this uh, context, it sounds more like they could use a little help. Um, they probably are um, distracted with COVID and who knows, you know, what's going on in their personal lives. But um, this is a terrible time um, for all of us. And, um, I, I just don't know if it's appropriate to put together some kind of punitive response at this point, but rather to um, reach out and um, ask what kind of help they might need. Um, maybe we can find some, some other volunteers who are willing to do some work for them. I don't know, or they can, I don't know. I mean, I'm just putting that out there. That Yeah, I, I guess I have to Two thoughts. One, and John, a response to your, you. I mean, I think it's it's on them to figure out what they need, as opposed to us to figure out how to help them. Um, I mean, your points are are valid. That the, it might it's a difficult situation, but um, you know, I think Rita, to your point, having having been a a funder, I think the two things that are good about the grant agreement that we should put in one is an expectation of reporting. Mm -hmm. You know, so like to respond to what John's saying, if you know, if a, a grantee of, in any form can't hit the timing, you know, can't do what they said they were going to do, the reports, the time where they can say, we were planning to do X, so-and-so left, so we're really postponed, or, you know, a pandemic came, but having expectations about reporting, mm -hmm. um, both an interim and, an end, you know, in a final report would make sense. And it could just be a page, but, or an email. Right. Um, and then I do think, 
to your other point, there should be something in there about the ability to, you know, reclaim the money if the project is, you know, if the CPC determines that the project is not complete or something like mm -hmm. that. And, you know, just as a placeholder, we can discuss what that means, but at least it sets the expectation. So if there's a process that gets initiated, it's a response to that expectation. And, and that award was made when, um, Linda, do you have that date? Oh, because they uh, might've been talking about it at the February meeting, but they've had it for at least two years. Yeah, they have. And mm -hmm. there are other circumstances involved. I, do, do you have the, do you have the draft of the letter that you, that you and I, you and I went through it once, I think, a proposed draft for such a letter of agreement? What's expected? Um, yes, I, and I gave that to um, I gave that to Becky, and I think right. we might have even looked at it at at one of our meetings. And so, so what I was going to suggest is, could you send that around to everybody so they sure. know where we are? Yeah. Yep. And then what, one of us would check with Becky. Okay. Uh, to, to find out what the status of that was. With okay. Respect to the yes. Order. So what I, I would send out is the, the template of um, grant agreement and then the one page letter agreement. I won't, you know, I'm, I just have um, Michael's laptop here. So I have all my files on my um, computer at home. So I'll do that once early next week. That's okay. fine. I don't think there's any rush. Okay. okay. Is there any more discussion about status? Does, it, does anybody actually know who took over the North Cove project? I've asked Mark several, several times. And I've gotten no, no um, indication of who's actually in charge anymore. I think our best bet is, is um, I don't know who's overseeing the Lake Wyola Association. It's just going through them. Well, I asked, um, <coughs> asked uh, no, I asked Noreen. I think Noreen was, wasn't she? Noreen Pease. Yeah. It was originally Fred Hartwell and right. Mark Rivers. Right. And, and right. Fred is still around, but he has nothing. He says he has nothing to do with the project anymore. Correct. He no longer owns property at, at the lake. Right. So who's, you know, do we know? Oh, I'll find out who. I'll, I'll contact the LMA and, and, and um, find out. But let's do the same thing for them then, too. Let's have a, um, you know, get in touch with them and say the award was made on x we haven't heard anything we've gotten no update you know the the committee is going to you know is is wanting to um uh get these projects either moving or or expects the grantees to get them moving or we are going to um explore um recapturing the funds yes so um, North Cove was in 2018. And the old town hall was? It was in last year, 2019. Okay. Not, not this year, but you know, not 2019. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be bold and second Delane's motion from way back when that <laughs> said that we should uh, communicate with the grantees. Okay. So. Great. Uh, and then we want to vote. Do you want to restate the motion, Elaine? Yes, please. Um, I move that we contact the two grantees that have outstanding awards and request um, update on their progress and with the concern that, um, whoops, Linda's gone. And you're gone. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, there you we are. Lost John. John, we lost John. We lost John. All lost of a sudden, John. <laughs> it's completely gone. <laughs> um, you might I have saying? to be let back in, Alan. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the list. I don't. There's nothing on it right now. But he might call back. Yeah, he might. Um, All right, go, go ahead, Alan. What, what should we say? And that we will initiate. Well, init if, initiate if um, recapturing the funds. If progress not initiate recapturing. Um, no, explore, like explore, explore options for recapturing, recapturing the funds. Explore options for recapturing the funds. 
Okay. If progress can't be made. Right. In due fa in due time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that all down, Michael? Good enough, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I gotta say I like the word recapture. I was yeah. I was thinking of, you know, usually it's claw back, which I always hate. It sounds so yeah. mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Recapture it is. Okay. So that motion was made and seconded. Do we want to vote? Uh, Scott, aye. Farrell, aye. Hanson, aye. Vallejo, aye. Take care, aye. Unanimous. We've lost John. Yeah, yeah. he's not. Uh... Oh, here he is. Wait a minute. There he is. Hi, John. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Do we um, see if John wants to vote or should I just read it as he was temporarily not available? We, we should have John vote. We, we should have him vote. We have to redo that. Can you read the thing back, Michael? Oh, the silly me for suggesting it. Um, All right. <laughs> John, can you um, do your audio? You're muted. Uh, yeah, here I can do it, I think. There he is. There, there we go. My laptop decided to. Um, I don't know who what, but um, can you hear me okay, everyone? Yes. Yep. yes. Yeah. Actually, um, better better on this uh, machine. On the, yeah. My phone. Okay. So, John, we just took a vote about communicating with. No. No, you were. I'm going to read it, and then you can vote. I'm sorry. Your your audio was coming in and out, and I was worried about. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know. Maybe both of my kids are watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know my wife is watching the Educational Foundation Trivia B, so <laughs> we're, we're using up a lot of bandwidth. Yeah. Yeah. John. Everything froze. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Again. <laughs> yeah. So it's talk really fast. John, you want to abstain? <laughs> I'll vote yes. If that's All right. Okay. We're just sending a notice to the two outstanding to um, just saying that we want to, um, we'd like an update and. Um, we would, we, if we don't hear anything, if there's no progress, we are gonna start exploring the options for recapturing the funds. So an update is what? An update as to the status of the- um, Right, but are you expecting a letter or are you expecting- funds. Are you yeah. expecting the letter or are you expecting we, yes. the we, meeting? Yes, we would something in writing or agree to come to a meeting, I think either. Yeah. Exactly. It's, a, it's a low bar delineated yeah yeah okay yeah. good suggestion i'll add that okay so yeah to, to either um schedule a meeting with us or send uh something in writing status report in writing mm -hmm. great okay item three is lessons learned from last year who remembers? Don't yeah. have a pandemic. I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't have a pandemic, right? Good idea. Yeah, good suggestion. No. Um, so I think we actually discussed that a little bit last time. And, yeah, we did. Uh, I think we postponed it to this meeting. We can always postpone it to the next meeting. Um, Maybe there aren't any lessons learned. Uh, well, I think we just went over one actually that we yes, need to do exactly. some a, a better job on. Uh, maintaining contact with the projects as they end the progression. Yeah. And we have that. Yeah. yeah. The other, I don't know if this is a lesson learned, but it's sort of on our to do list. We had, you know, those conversations about 
trying to initiate projects as opposed to waiting for people just to come to us with projects. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think we thought that was a good idea. I don't know if that, if that makes it to being a lesson or not, but. Um, well, that's, that, that's actually the next item on the agenda, which is marketing. Oh, brilliant. So we can, we can segue into that. Okay. Um, I think the question here was how to, exactly what you just stated. How do we get more people to respond to um, uh, and submit proposals for projects? Yeah. Well, Alan, just I mean, when I I think this is a good conversation. My point was more that you know what we talked about last year was actually coming up with that generating ideas rather than just being dependent on people stepping forward. So because um, we had thought, well, there's ideas that we can we think would make sense. Um, so right. they're, they're both true. Right. And in fact, I've heard rumors of maybe a possibility of a, of a community garden proposal. Yes. Yes, it's coming. Is it? We, we met this afternoon and we'll be bringing one forward to you. What kind of garden? Well, community gardens. Community the Red Community is uh, proposing community gardens. Cool. Is that on lot 032 or whatever it is? Uh, where, where you gonna put it's, it? it's ambiguous. We uh, the the choices were behind town hall, behind the fire station, lot 032, or at the school. And um, the choices were made, and and the most uh, compelling was one was behind town hall. But now we don't know um, if if it's up to us to choose. Uh, <laughs> it's town property, so right. I think we're going to run back to the select board and say, how do we how do we decide where we would put it if we uh, wanted to put up a proposal? Okay, well, it's good to hear. We'll, we'll probably hear something from you. Yep, you will. Yep, that was the only one I've heard of so far. And the well, cemetery uh, and the cemetery commission. Okay, yeah. yep. those, those two will probably appear this year. Yeah. But I, I, we need to, I think, um, we need to put things out on town announce. We need to put things on next door shoots, bearing whatever, whatever large social media um, opportunities we have. There was a, there was an article in the newsletter. Yes. Yeah. Um, nice. Do you, do you think? Um, you know, I'm just sort of reflecting on you know John's earlier point about you know COVID being a challenge. Can we? Under the category of recreation, it would it'd be nice to think creati creatively about, you know, how one defines recreation in the time of COVID. Because if we can use some of those funds to support something, um, like, uh, well, I don't know. If virtual recreation is really it, but you know, something that wouldn't be traditional. You're going out. And doing something together in the same space, you can't really do that unless you're socially distanced. Right. right. Um, um, and the one thing about CPA to remember is a very simplistic way of looking at CPA is that of the or the um, of what's allowable by the statute is that it's more bricks and mortar ish than anything. So, um, and the only category that's not when I say bricks and mortar, that's a you know yeah. much broader the physical world. Sure. I mean, you got to build physical, something. Yes, that you can see you the manifestation of the use of your CPA funds okay. in like headstones or a playground or the schoolhouse done or the old town hall done, um, and the only exception to that is um, cases where you might have a consultant come in and do work. That was tied to a, you know, bricks and mortar, an actual. Well, the cemetery is a good example. Of project, that. right? So, so the consultant came. So you have a consultant. You could pay a consultant because it, it's part of doing right. something physical. Like, so, like you know, the um, engineering funds for the track, the rec the fields at the the regional school. Right, and even the engineering at the for Lake Wyola because it was going to result yeah. in a right. something you know being done, um, and it's so, so it just need to recall when you're thinking about recreation and and even with the um, 
with the town gardens, because I had done a little research back last year when we were thinking about this is, um, you know, we can't build a structure because they don't see that as recreation, but you can do like uh, ground preparation, soils, actually, uh, like you couldn't build a greenhouse. We could do signage, I believe, you know, so all the trails. Um, One of the questions well, I was wondering was, could we do fencing? That's a good question. I would probably want to, um, the best way to get those answers are to go, the Community Preservation Coalition has a really great TA, technical assistance um, process. So you can send in letter, or, you know, send okay. in an email to them and okay. say, is this allowable? Okay. Uh, and they all, the other thing that they have with, you know, just in thinking about marketing is um, they have a great newsletter and they highlight uh, CPA projects, you know, from all over the state, from, you know, from every, from, you know, small towns to now cities, the city of Boston has, is, has CP, passed CPA. Um, it's just a really good way. Oh, I just sent that around, didn't I? By category. Yeah. 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 But oh. maybe for the newer members, um, oh, you know, to, go, to go to the coalition's website and you can actually look up by community or by project type. So you could say, um, what has Newton done in housing? And then they list all right. the kinds of okay. things. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Um, so there's just, it's a really good um, place to get information and also to get ideas. You know, what they, the other thing that they'll do is they'll highlight like, here are three great um, community housing developments that have been done and there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the Cape. Um, but the newsletter tells you how to get to all that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. so. So. Can I ask a question? Because, I mean, I've been there. I think my point was more about, you know, so if I think of someone who's doing stuff in town a lot, it's Marianne. Like Marianne keeps coming up with ideas and activities and engaging different parts of the community. And, you know, one of the things I think she did is, um, uh, and I, my wife Lucy did one as well. Like there's a a walking book read that they do for kids where you set up sort of a you know different yeah. stations and, and people do that. And I imagine those kind of activities where they're you're set, you know, they're not permanent activities necessarily, but if there was funds to get people out into public spaces to be doing things that are self-directed. Um, and so you're not creating a recreational activity or a recreational space, you're creating a recreational experience, so to speak. Um, it seems like I'm just thinking about, can you take what the normal parameters are and tweak it for COVID needs? So just one idea it. related to that, um, it wouldn't be like the book thing, but if we were to have, um, I don't know, like on trails where you, <coughs> not simply a map, but it's more of a, like a historic perspective, mm -hmm. you know, we have all these old town roads and we have, so if you had some, or, or something to do with the flora and fauna of Shootsbury, I, I don't know. I mean, that's mm. certainly a possibility and the, <laughs> let's get the recreation committee to think about it. You know, that sign, could we do signage um, on trails and have somebody pay somebody to do that? Um, and, and have, you know, even a guide, you know, some sort of a guide. Well, there are, there are some people looking at a, at, a, at a way of getting from the school to the center of town, right? A trail somewhere up through the back. Right. That was I don't know about. exactly who's doing yeah. it, but, but something like that would be nice to have signs along mm -hmm. saying, you know, this, mm -hmm. is, this is where the antenna was during World War II and all that kind of stuff. I suppose yeah. we could, if that's, a, that's a physical manifestation of, but to Michael's point, it's sort of who's going to initiate that. You know, is that something that if we come up with ideas, then who's going to who's going to actually do the application? Um, and then there there needs to be somebody to manage it. Um, and so in a lot of cases, it's been volunteers, but you know, it could be that some organization does it too. 
Yeah. I mean, I was, I was actually thinking about Marianne because I figured, you know, if you gave her the resources, she would actually do something interesting. Um, so I was trying to figure out, well, is there stuff that could help her programming that fits in with this EPC kind of parameters? I, I, and I don't know if there's a fit. I've suggested that to her, Michael, that she might want to think about something like that. So maybe she's, think, I'll remind her that she's supposed to be thinking. Okay. <laughs> maybe collaborate with the recreation committee because yeah, that but, would be the most, because um, yeah. it's not going to be under housing or right. open space, um, historic, um, but open space slash recreation. Okay, hang on just a second. John, you started to say something before and we, we talked over you. Well, I was a little confused about one thing that you said that um, the CPC is concerned with bricks and mortar, but then you said um, that you couldn't build a greenhouse. So greenhouse to me is bricks and mortar, yeah. so I'm confused. <laughs> Um, I'd have to go, I'd have to send you, John, the whole logic behind that because in, it, you know, it had to do with it, um, it, it not being recreation. Um, so for recreation, you, I, I'm not sure why they didn't see that once you have the greenhouse of people in there doing stuff, but uh, for whatever reason, the interpretation is that you couldn't do a greenhouse. So good question. And I, I, I will send you the, um, uh, I will send you the response I got from the coalition about that. Right. And um, another thing was some, um, uh, for a short while, I was volunteering with the recreation committee and they, um, they spend a lot of time um, getting grants to do yoga classes and that sort of thing. Um, at the town hall, which of course they're not doing now, but um, we are online. They're doing them online. What? They're oh, doing yeah. them for online. But they formed a little subcommittee about trails, and um, mm -hmm. uh, there was this interest in trails, and um, nothing really came from it except uh, we all went on a lot of nice walks, you know, and one of the things that interested me was the new conservation land that was donated to the town by Coles, that um, there aren't really any trails on some of that. And um, that conservation land meets up or cr includes Roaring Brook as it leaves town and heads down uh, the S curves. And wouldn't it be nice to have a loop trail, you know? Um, but that sort of thing, that would be, a, um, to, to carve a trail, you know, um, through the brush and uh, underbrush and so forth. Um, that would qualify, right, for CPC, you know? I, I would have to check, John, about, um, and, and I believe, I don't know that that's town land. I think that's Cole's land, isn't it? Or is it brushy? Is that part of the Brushy Mountain? Brushy Mountain, the Paul C. Jones Working Forest is right. um, still owned by Cole's. It's conservation has a conservation restriction on it, I believe, managed oh, by Ke I mean, Kestrel. I'm not really sure of the relationship there. Um, and then um, the Conservation Commission um, uh, supported, financially supported um, with the divisions of fishery and wildlife, um, the purchase of um, a parcel that abuts that um, Brushy, Brushy Mountain or Palsy Jones um, that has uh, access off of uh, Leverett Road. Um, it's but, very confusing very fast. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, um, I, as far as I know, Coles has not given any land to the town. Um, anyway. Well, what do you know? Um, You know, right now the Conservation Commission has the one active project, so I'm reluctant to suggest that they would be willing to take on anything else at this time. But I do know that they have um, a student, a former UMass student who is an intern who is doing some um, mapping of the South Brook Conservation Area. Um, 
So at some point there may be, you know, maybe an application for some signage at that, mm -hmm. that area. Um, and, you know, trail maps because that is town owned land. And so we can make maps of that area. Um, it doesn't require access into any private property like other trails um, sometimes. Yep. You know. That's the um, area near Lake Wyola? Yes. Hmm. Yes. I, I find it kind of effective that when you're talking to people in town that have interests related to what we do, that you just talk to them. Sometimes you get some pretty good ideas and sometimes they might say they're going to submit a... I think we just have to talk it up among the town. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how much people are doing that. I've started to do it a fair amount recently. Um, let's see. I'm not how much money we're talking about that's out there waiting to be granted? Um, there's a there's a fair amount. I don't have the I don't have the current financial statement. Somewhere in the neighborhood of about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I think, John. Yeah, yeah, or more. Do we ever put in a blurb in the town newsletter? Yeah, yes. we just did Each, every time. Yeah, you need it, you need, I forgot. Read it. Read it. I forgot. Read it, Michael. <laughs> Michael. It's there. <laughs> it's there. Yeah, yep. uh, it's on the kitchen table. I'll go reread yeah. it. <laughs> There's even a picture of the Habitat House. Yeah, yeah the Habitat. Oh. I mean, they're, they they. Oh, might that's come right. Back. I did read it. I did read it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we we gave um twenty eight thousand dollars to Habitat, and I think um, Alan and I had gotten an email um, from the Habitat people back saying, would the town ever consider any additional funds? And we said, you, you know, it's eligible, but you have to apply for them. <clears throat> I don't know if that's something that they might come back um, to us for that same house to write down the costs. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it's not for another house. It would be for this same, um, for the same house. Yeah. Wow. So then it would be up to us to decide whether or not we would want to allocate any more money um, uh, to that, to that the house on West Pelham Road. Right. So we need an application first, anyway. So. Right. Right. I, I, I have a question. Can, yeah. Do you know if um, CPC funds can be used for surveys of, you know, like questionnaire type surveys? No. Well, okay. No. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I, I was planning, this is kind of related to the next item on here, which is the the preservation plan. I was planning on putting an announcement up on next door Shootsbury and town announce. I put the plan up today uh, and changed the web page so it reflects the current. So I would just invite people to take a quick look and make sure that everything's correct. And if it isn't, they'll let me know. Um, and I was going to put an announcement up on, like I said, both next door and town announce that it's been posted. And people can go there and get their applications or information. Yep, we just looked at it today in uh, the rec committee meeting, and we're uh, it it was all up there and looked right to me. Okay, had the, had the correct dates. So yes. the process um, coming up is that there's a initial determination of eligibility, which I believe it's December fourth. Yes. Yep. Um, that that is a simple kind of one pager to say, for the applicant to say, this is what I'm thinking about doing. And then the, then the final application, I believe is due at the end of January, if I'm not. Uh, Jan yeah, January, well, I, I can tell you in a minute. Well, maybe I can. Um, what you're saying is there's, there's one application date per year? No, there, no yes. Oh, yes. That's right. There are two phases to that. There, there's an eligibility phase, which is a very short um, yeah. document that says, here's what I want to do. Is this eligible for CP, CPC funding, CPA funding? And then well, if, if we decide that's eligible, then there's a longer proposal on the actual project. Right. And that proposal has to be done in time to be considered a town meeting. 
didn't we change that as part of the the bylaw change that we you could have ones that were outside of the particular deadlines i know we discussed it yeah you can you can do the you can do the eligibility thing anytime you want yeah right john did you have a question well i was going to say if you want more people to apply um <clears throat> you should consider doing rolling you know like anytime just get it in right um anytime you want to apply uh it doesn't have to be a date and then but then there's this town meeting problem mm -hmm. yeah that's the main problem yeah yeah, yeah. So it, has it has to be approved at town meeting. It has to be in uh, early enough so that we can we can look at the proposal and decide whether it's something we want to submit to town meeting. But there are special town meetings all the time to move little bits of money here and there. So well, isn't it possible that this could be done on a rolling basis that... Um, we really only have um, usually one special town meeting in the fall. So, and, and it's often, well, this year it was uh, well attended, but it's often not well attended. And so it would be hard to, to ask um, a special town meeting to vote on a CPC project. I, I think that it would have to be an annual town meeting because it has to go into the budget. Is that right, Linda? Well, we do have long articles, but it's not, we're separate from, we, we have our own funding. Right. Money. Yeah. Not um, on the budget, but it's, I think just in terms of good practice, yeah. it should be an annual town meeting. And, and we, we do have, we do have um, in our plan um, a mechanism by which if a project came up that was of such a timely nature, that we could act out of our regular schedule, right? Um, and be, because we we have we have, as everyone has said, these timing um, processes, so that we're ready for annual town meeting, which also includes um, a public hearing at some point. Yeah. So what we did want to allow for, though, John, was in the case where, say, there was a piece of property that came up, and um, you know, something had to be turned around kind of quickly and we needed to approve it and it was outside of the prescribed schedule that we could make an exception, but that we wanted to have more of a... You're basically looking for applications now. We're looking for applications by December, just an initial determination of eligibility. That's simply saying, I have an idea, I'd like to use CPA money for... X, I, y, and, Z, and um, then you don't have to actually submit the application until January 31st. And you have to give a, a of what, how yeah. much you're going to want to um, ask for. Yeah. Approximately. Um, but what I'm saying is <clears throat> you want the application process happening now in the committees. You want these people working on this this fall in order to get those things done. By yep. January, by getting yep. an application in by January 31st, yes. So wouldn't it make sense to contact all the committee heads saying, listen, get your application in now. I mean, let's get started. Is there, do you need any help? I mean, is there anything you don't understand? You know, a phone call to the committee heads. Um, would you like $50,000 for something? You know, um, <laughs> and, and um, you know, get get the ball rolling because I bet a lot of people aren't really that that you know aware of what's going on. Frankly, they don't pay attention. Well, it has to be for a very specific project, so you can't just say, "Can I have lots of projects listed? Lots of lots of different things listed in this plan." I mean, there's I have the plan. I read it. It's pretty yeah, nice. Okay, it's not that there has to be <clears throat> something dreamed up. I'm sure every committee has got a long list of things that they want to get done. They're just not using the plan. Um, you know, they're not thinking about how to, how to spend money on it. Right. You right. know, I mean, the historical commission uh, is pretty much brand new. Um, right. We're all brand new members. So, um, 
speaking from from um, my brief experience at the historical commission. Get over here. Um, say it, it there are half a dozen things we could be putting our time into um, for the plan, mm -hmm. at least. Yeah. You know, well, start, some, start thinking about them, John. Well, I am, but it's you know when there's so much emphasis being put on these um, Native American community uh, ceremonial stone landscape things and how to pro how to how to progress with that and that kind of thing that, that um, there isn't a lot of time in committee meetings for other things. So, yeah. But hopefully that'll that'll work itself out. You know. Is there anything else that we need to uh, be working on tonight? Yes, you want me to say hello to my new puppy. Oh, God, very cute. <laughs> about our calendar? Yeah, we're going to do a... Um... Okay. <sighs> Why did that not get into my agenda? I don't know, but anyway, we decided we were going to do a calendar just for no. future meetings. No. So we got we got two, right? I'm assuming December third and. Well, January no, the 1st. the the, uh, the um, proposals aren't due till December fourth. Right. Oh, okay. So we will want time to read them. So probably, do we want to schedule December tenth? Um, that's, that's a fine. Thursday. Does that work for everybody? <laughs> I'm going uh, nowhere. Conflict on the yeah, second it's fine with me. What? I have a conflict on the second Thursdays of the month. So yes, that's... this would be we would the third Thursday is the seventeenth. That's you our usual. Yeah. For the and that's the one that you have a conflict with. No, on the tenth I do, but. Oh. But if, if the 17th, is that going to be enough time then do you think for the applicants to um, to do the full application? Well, the end of January? Is due by um, the 1st of February, according to what we decided. So that would be, that would give them one, two, three, six plus weeks. I mean, if we could meet earlier on the, I have a seven o'clock meeting on the 10th. So if Could we, we meet at six? six. Sure. That works for me. Okay. John, does that work for you? Six o'clock on December 10th? Um, it's a Thursday? Yes. I mean, I'm using my phone for Zoom call. So if I look at my calendar. You might, we might lose you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it will lose you. I've done it. And then after that, do we want to wait until February 4th? Because all the proposals will be in? All of them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. That sounds good. 25. <laughs> John, we're counting on you. Oh, we got to get rid of all that money. What was the suggestion for December? December. I mean, for um, February fourth. February fourth. February fourth. And you want to keep that at seven o'clock? Yeah, that's fine for me. Okay. And that would be, we would, um, at that time, we would be um, reviewing the application. Review the application. Um, yep. we would right. Potentially, we would potentially, um, maybe if need be, we might have a second meeting in that month if we have an applica applicant that needs more help. Yes. Um, yes. Hearing or the public hearing. Yes, so I think two, two weeks after that. Yeah, so we the might. Mm -hmm. If we need Different. it. If we need it, we'd say the 18th. Yep. yep. And then 
we need to think about when we want to have our public hearing. It's usually has traditionally mostly been in March. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the warrant has to be done by. Yeah, so our town meeting is when May beginning of first. May first. May first. first. Oh, okay. So sometimes yeah. we have our public hearing and we might vote on the applications that same night, or sometimes we would have a second meeting in March to vote and, you know, depending what we've got. Let's schedule we'll two March meetings and then if we don't need them, we could, um, but yeah. do the public hearing at the first March meeting. Okay. That would be March 4th. March 4th. Do you want to say a second date so that if we yeah, don't so two weeks after that, is the, that the 18th? The 18th. Well, it's the 11th first and then the 18th. Right. So March but 18th. The 18th is the third, and that's the one that you have a conflict with? Mine's the second Thursday. So. Oh, okay. So the 18th. So it's the March 18th then. And yeah. that's when we would vote if if we need to. We're vote. If we, right, if we don't vote on the on the night of the public hearing, we have a second chance to Okay. okay. Sounds good. And you know, prepare our things. Start. This whole schedule is all going to be on Zoom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. can't imagine doing town business on Zoom, but it works. Yeah. You have to. So when when is town meeting this year? May one. May first. Wow. Okay. And do we have a November date that we're meeting or oh, no? We, we, yeah, I was just looking at that too. We don't have a meeting scheduled in November. No. Do we have anything we have to do? I don't know. Uh, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can schedule it and then cancel it if we don't need it. Well, the only thing I would say for uh, if we were going to have a November meeting is, is if oh. any of the... Um, if anybody wants to come in and talk to us in advance of putting in an, uh, an application for eligibility. Right. And, and the other thing is that um, we are going to anticipate that we'll have some, some sort of feedback or not from either the North Cove or the um, building committee. So okay. I think that, you know, um, and then we might also talk more about the, um, the um, grant agreement Okay. Yeah, I think we should schedule one for November 19th. If we don't need it, we just cancel it. Yeah, so November 19th, that makes sense. And because then we would get some of those housekeeping things done so that when we get into the, right. the applications, we don't, you know, keep putting those off. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's just my thinking on it. No, I think that's a good suggestion. Okay. Hmm. Did we lose something here? No. 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 Okay. We got it. We got the dates. We got the schedule. So let's let's just run through the dates. November nineteenth is a meeting. Mm -hmm. December tenth is review review the eligibility at six p.m. Um, at six p.m. February fourth is review the applications. March fourth is a public here meetings and possibly voting on the applications. March eighteenth is another meeting to potentially vote on the applications. And then May 1st is town meeting. Yes, we, we need an April date. And also, um, Alan, we said um, February 18th in case an applicant needs um, more help in preparation for the public hearing. So 18th. What's that one? That's potentially to review applications again, if we have any others. Right. Yeah, or, you know, if someone um, needs an additional meeting to um, talk about what they're doing and right. more help with their application. Um, so we need an April date. Um, 
April 15th. That would be the third Thursday, yeah. Yep. That's good. Okay. That would be prepped for town meeting. Yeah. Okay. You got that, Michael? I got it all. Good. <laughs> Good, Good job. I haven't written anything down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I've written it down, but I'm sure it's such a mess that I'll probably never ever be able to decipher what I've written here. Um, okay, is there anything else we need to discuss? I don't think so. Anybody? So I hear a motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Caroline. Aye. 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 Okay. We're all done. Great. Thank you, folks. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night.